Hi guys, Johnny Good here for Royal Home Studio and today I'm out of the home studio and we're taking a look at Toman's DP26 Digital Stage Piano. I want to kick in and say I've owned this piano for about five years, it's geeked for about four of those and it's been nothing short of reliable throughout that time. It's always sounded plenty good enough, it's always given me lots of options when I needed those connective options for live and it's been nothing short of reliable. Uh, I've never had one issue whatsoever with it dropping out or having a problem live. It's been in and out of the car most weeks and I really can't fault it for that. I also want to throw in a couple of adjustments which I've made to the DP26 over the last few years. Obviously there's a lot of lyrics stuck all over this uh, piano which I use for my own personal use when I'm singing and playing so I don't forget any of the words and it's a lot of cue cards and things. So they don't come with the DP26, it's obviously uh, in a black finish. And the second thing you might notice is that I've used glass paper on these keys just to rough them up somewhat from the original finish which uh, I'm not keen on on any stage piano, that sort of glossy plastic feel which I find a little bit sticky under my fingers. So you you might notice that the keys look a bit roughed up and that's my doing rather than how I bought the piano in the first place. Now I have encountered a few niggles with the DP26 over the last few years, one of which is weight, weighing in at 13 kilograms. This is quite a heavy boy and it's quite a clunky and large unit. Uh, it certainly feels quite cumbersome when you're trying to get in and out of uh, doors when you're arriving at gigs. The second thing uh, is the sound quality and whilst the two piano sounds that are on board are certainly more than usable, I've not encountered any problems uh, along the way when I've been playing live, um, but they're certainly not going to blow your socks off. <laughs> A couple of other smaller niggles which I've encountered, one being I never got the USB to seem to sync up with my computer, it just never seemed to recognise it. Fortunately the DP26 does have a MIDI out facility as well um, which could connect easily to my interface. And my other small niggle is with the volume of the metronome which is bundled in with the master volume which leaves you more often than not being able to hear the metronome itself which is somewhat frustrating. But let's get on to the good things about Toman's DP26, it's 88 key full-size piano with weighted keys for around 250 quid. It's about the cheapest that you can buy worldwide. Uh, it feels as good as any of its competitors and a lot of its competitors are around twice the price and the keyboard feels just the same, just as usable, just as piano-like. As I said at the start of the video, it's been a workhorse for me live. Now one of the great things about this piano using it live is its connectivity. It has an auxiliary out of the back and also has two headphone outs, all quarter inch at the front. Now, one of those headphones out knocks out the sound of the live sound of the piano going through the speakers, and the other one allows the speakers to come through. So you've really got quite a lot of flexibility when you're playing live as well. The DP26 also features two 10 watt speakers, which can get really pretty loud without any distortion, which I found really useful for practicing with my band. Now we practice pretty quiet, but I am practicing with a bass player and I'm practicing with a drum kit and I don't have to bring along a separate amplifier, which is really, really handy. Another thing which I really like about the DP26 is it's back to the 80s digital display which is really clear, precise and easy to see quickly when you're in a dark gig environment. Another great feature on the DP26, particularly for live users, is the one-touch transpose key. Now a lot of its competitors have different routes to get to the transpose key and if it's not quick it can be a bit of a pain in the live environment. What I like about the DP26 is it's one touch up and down. Now that may or may not be useful depending on your skills, depending on your set and, and whether you need to use a transpose key, but if you do it means you can change keys slickly and quickly uh, in a live application. The DP26 also comes bundled with a decent quality sustain pedal, a music stand which fits into the back of the piano, and a power adapter. The DP26 comes with an editable EQ and a selection of effects, although these aren't savable, so I can't say that I've delved into them too much. Okay, so let's take a listen to the 20 sounds available in Toman's DP26. For this, I'm running the uh, piano through a separate mixing desk, which is going to the camera. Um, so you'll get mostly DI signals. Do bear in mind I'm using a lab mic for my voice, so you might get a little bit, a little bit of spill from that, a little bit of hammer action sound from the keys. Okay, let's crack in with Grand Piano Sound 01. And then to Grand Piano 02. Now this is the piano sound which I prefer to use. So 
So there are the two piano sounds available. Now we're into electric piano. This is electric piano one. Electric piano two. Electric piano three. Uh, harpsichord. Uh, clave. And a vibraphone. organ drawer organ church organ reed organ organ uh, this is where things start to get a bit sketchy or uh, uh, accordion into harmonica Okay, nylon guitar, hold on to your hats. Into a uh, clean guitar. Uh, finger bass. And then we've got some strings. And to end things off, some synth strings. So, Toman's DP26 Digital Stage Piano, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Let's be honest. The main reason that you and I indeed are looking at this piano is because of the price. And for the price, it's absolutely fantastic. It's got those key features in the right place. It sounds good enough. It's reliable. It's nice to play. It's got all the basics sorted out. And the, that connectivity for live is really, really useful. So, the DP26 gets a big thumbs up from me. My name's Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. If you found this video useful today, please don't forget to like, subscribe, most importantly, have yourself a great day.